the bookmap volume bars are located at the bottom here in the bookmap chart. Currently, we're looking at a composite view of both buying and selling. So you can see that all of the selling is on the bottom of the chart. And then in addition to the selling volume, we've added on top the buy volume in green. This represents all of the volume that has taken place within this bar. And you can see here that the majority of it is selling here, for example, with a little bit of buying. This gives you the overall shape and delta of the volume that you can see up above here reflected also in the bookmap dots. To give scale and reference to this volume bar, let's take a look over here at this number, 2,000. This represents 2,000 contracts in terms of volume. So this bar here is probably about 1,800 contracts in total, and it gives you that reference here. Now, if you want to scale the size of your volume bars, next to this number, you'll see this red line, and you can hover over here, and you can left-click, hold, and drag, and scale the size of the volume bars. Now, let's right-click on a volume bar here and bring up the volume bar settings. Let me move this out of the way a bit so you can see exactly what we're looking at. If you don't want to display the volume bars, you can click here or select it here uh, to display them in the subchart. Let's go over some of the different settings. First, we have the bar width. You can choose one pixel here uh, all the way up to 15 pixels. In the volume bars drawing type, you can show this as a gradient of the buying and selling to give you insight, or you can go with the composite view that I explained earlier. There are also some volume clustering settings here, just like the volume dots. I'm currently looking at the smart clustering with the slider here, just engaging a bit of the clustering for the volume bars. Now let's click on the drop down, and you can see that we have the same settings as the volume dots. Let's select by time and we'll look at five minutes of data here. Now I'm displaying a volume bar composite for each five minutes of data. This is very different than the volume dot settings I have up here on that best bid and offer. Now if you want to apply this to the volume dots, use this button here. And now you can see I have synced my volume dots and volume bars together. You can also inherit the settings from your volume dots to apply them to the bars. Let's go back to the smart clustering here, then I'll apply it back to the dots.